Welcome to this video tutorial on Tina TI, the free SPICE simulator from Texas Instruments. In this video, you'll learn how to import SPICE models into Tina TI when a Tina model isn't available for a part. Tina TI comes loaded with macro models for a number of TI devices. You can access these through the SPICE Macros tab. For parts in your Tina TI library, selecting and placing them in your schematic is easy. As TI releases new models, they can be added to your library using the Check for Updates mechanism. See our video on keeping Tina TI up to date to learn more about doing this. You can also place parts by using the Insert Macro command and place a macro model from anywhere you have macros saved on your disk. But what if you don't have a Tina macro model available for a part you want to use? This is a schematic for a power supply designed in our Switcher Pro tool. The Catch Diode SD1 is an MBR340 from the standard TINA TI library. What if we wanted to use a different vendor's diode? All we need to do is get the SPICE model for their diode and import it as a TINA macro model. Here's the SPICE model we downloaded for a B340A diode. Note the .CIR extension that is common for PSPICE models. We can see the text for the model in an application like Notepad. To bring this SPICE model into Tina TI, select Tools, New Macro Wizard. To create the new Tina macro model, first assign a name to it. In our example, we'll call it B340A. In the File Browser field, we'll find the B340A.CIR file on disk and select it. If we hadn't already downloaded the file, we could select From Web and click Browse which will open an internet browser window where you could navigate to a SPICE model file on the web. Now we must assign a symbol or shape to this model. Tina can auto-generate the shape for us, which will create a box with the number of pins the model specifies. In our case, this really isn't the best symbol for a diode. We can use symbols that are already in Tina TI's library. For example, we know there are already diodes in the library, so we can reuse that symbol for our new diode model. Now we can browse through all the shapes in the library. We can narrow down the number of choices by selecting only the existing diode shapes and finding the diode shape we want. This one looks good. Now we must associate the nodes in the model to the pins on the symbol. This screen shows the text of the model file down below in case you need to refer to it when making pin assignments. Many models provide some guidance in the header of the file to help with this. For this simple diode, it follows SPICE conventions where the first node is the anode and the second is the cathode. If you're not sure how to connect the pins, contact the supplier of the model. Simply drag the pin number to the pin on the symbol to associate pin 1 with the anode and 2 to the cathode. If you make a mistake, you can always just drag a pin number back down to the bar below. When you have it correct, select Next. You are then prompted to save the new Tina macro model to disk. You can save it anywhere you'd like. You can place the new macro symbol into the schematic you are working on immediately, or you can simply select Finish and place the symbol later. Now we can replace the existing diode in our schematic with the new diode macro model we just created. Delete the existing diode and select Insert Macro, find the new model where you saved it, and place the symbol on the schematic as you would any other symbol. We can now verify the new symbol has the right model by double-clicking on it and selecting Enter Macro. There's the text of the model we created the macro from. We can now use our new model in our simulations. One thing to note about importing SPICE models. Some models that you can find are encrypted, and these cannot be imported into Tina TI. You must use an unencrypted model, one where you can see the contents of the model as we did, 
in a text editor. If a model you want to import is only available in encrypted form, contact the model supplier and see if they will provide you with an unencrypted version. That's all there is to importing SPICE models. Thanks for watching this video tutorial on Tina TI.